So today's story starts with a block from Deaf Noodles. The insider journalist Kat Tenbarch tweets out that she's been blocked by him, and then someone replies to her. Unfortunately, the tweet is deleted, so I can't read it out. Tenbarch responds to this tweet by saying, It was an olive branch during a major ideology clash between journalists and YouTubers. I deeply, vehemently oppose Keemstar's behavior and many of his editorial choices, and I've voiced a ton of that on my platform. They respond with another tweet that ended up getting deleted, and then Kat responds by saying, He has millions of followers, who will relentlessly go after me and other journalists at the drop of a hat. I absolutely despise his anti-Semitic rhetoric, and I don't support him. I don't want to go to war with him. You have to choose your battles. I don't cite Keemstar. I don't work with Keemstar. I don't support his ideologies or actions, and I personally decline to go on his show for reasons including my extreme discomfort with the views and people he platforms. But I can't win a war with him. Now this tweet was confusing to a lot of people. As despite Keemstar being known for saying a lot of bad things, one of those things is not anti-Semitic rhetoric. But if you've been paying attention to my channel in the last few weeks, you will know that H3 did recently accuse Keemstar of anti-Semitism because of this clip. Everybody tweet at fucking H3H3, H3, death to all Jews. <laughs> so that is probably why Kat Tenbarge is saying these things. Keemstar responds to her on Twitter with this Twitter video titled, Dear Insider Journalist Kat Tenbarge, Cat, what are you talking about? What are you talking about? Uh, I strongly disagree with his anti-Semitic rhetoric. What anti-Semitic rhetoric? Are you talking about when I said everybody tweeted H3H3, H3, death to all Jews? Like the meme, like the PewDiePie meme of 2017? Aren't you supposed to be a journalist that like does research, that has a, a, a true understanding of each story that you're talking about? you know, the internet of what's going on in pop culture, like, isn't, you're insider, right? These tweets reference you as an outsider, someone that doesn't actually know fucking shit about anything, doesn't know what's going on. I mean, in these tweets, you're saying Keemstar in his anti-Semitic uh, rhetoric. So I hate the Jews. Do you believe that? Do you think that's true? Do you think that Keemstar hates the Jews? Because no one else thinks that. Literally no one. No one. So is this like a cancel culture thing? Because it's not reality. And you don't believe that. I don't think you actually believe that. But maybe you do believe that. Do you think that I hate the Jews? Do you? Do you? I mean, you're going on about how Deaf Noodles is very careless with his journalism. Very careless with reporting stories. And you're saying that Keemstar has anti-Semitic rhetoric. You know, not a reference to the 2017 PewDiePie death to all Jews meme. It's not a reference. It's not a meme. Nothing, right? You're not, you're not, ref you're not talking about any of this that everybody in this fucking community knows about. You're saying anti-Semitic rhetoric. Like, I actually hate Jewish people. Do you think I hate Jewish people? I want to know. Keemstar then says, look at my liked tweets. And then if you look at his liked tweets, he has a couple interesting ones. One is a reply to Keemstar that says, I, a person of Jewish descent, don't think you hate Jewish people at all. It's just memes. Lol. Then we have a tweet from October 2020 where Keem says, I agree with New York City Jewish community. You cannot argue with the points they are making. We then have another tweet that says, Disgusting. The New York City mayor has clearly targeted and is actively harassing the Jewish community. And then another one that says, Jewish community in New York City has been harassed non-stop by Democratic local leaders. Serena Bergman responds to Keemstar by saying, Something can both be a reference to a meme and also anti-Semitic. Someone can use anti-Semitic language and rhetoric without actively hating all Jewish people. Sigh. Keemstar responds, Anti-Semitic rhetoric. What comes to mind when you hear these words? Definitely nothing I've ever done or said. You are acting in bad faith point blank. Serena responds, Making jokes about the mass genocide of Jewish people is anti-Semitic rhetoric. There's a reason PewDiePie apologized for the incident slash subsequent meme you were using as justification. That's not necessarily the same thing as being an anti-Semite, in my opinion, but the language is anti-Semitic. Keemstar responds by saying, PewDiePie apologized because people like you tried to ruin his life for jokes that literally no one took seriously. They demanded statements from all his sponsors and from YouTube. The people were not against him. They were against you. Do you need a history lesson? He then shows the Google definition of rhetoric. He continues by saying, Also, the internet fought back. 
and we found the same reporter that broke the story on PewDiePie was making anti-Semitic jokes on Twitter himself. It was awesome. I'm so down for another fight. Let me know. He then shows that tweet and says, 4K. Keem also says, The PewDiePie story from 2017 caused millions and millions of young people to not trust media. More people see the situation as the media scandal, not PewDiePie. Of course you wouldn't understand that, because you are not an actual insider. Lindsay Dogson responds to Keem by saying, This is a false equivalent and you know it. Felix conducted a social experiment, which he now says he regrets, plus I doubt he'd appreciate you speaking on his behalf. While you set your millions of followers after a Jewish person you dislike, telling them to say, death to all Jews. There was clear malice in what you did. Stop trying to hide behind it being a meme. Keemstar responds, how can I send millions of followers if I'm streaming to a few thousand? Strong research, lady. Doesn't take long to spin you into activism instead of journalism, huh? 2017 PewDiePie situation is your black eye, not us YouTubers. You lost trust. Without trust, you were nothing. Lindsay responds, deflection again. This has nothing to do with the Washington Post. This is you admitting you sent thousands of followers to say death to all Jews to a Jewish person you dislike. Just own what you did, you coward. Keemstar responds, I was lying in bed, but now I'm going to get dressed to make a Twitter video just for you, so you can understand your mistakes. He then makes that Twitter video titled, Hi Lindsasaur. Lindsay, are you suggesting that I'm hiding behind a meme? I'm right here. You can't see me? I put on, I was laying in bed. I was like, and I'm seeing these tweets from me. I'm like, fuck it, I'm gonna get out of bed. Uh, let me give her a little history lesson because obviously you're lost, you know? It's strange because you work at Insider. You're supposed to be the insider, right? You're supposed to know the internet and understand the, and you don't. The one thing I like about Taylor Lorenz, and a lot of people have a lot of problems with her, fine, but she understands the internet. You don't, you're lost. Or, you do understand the internet, but you're deliberately being dishonest. Regardless, 2017, PewDiePie has the fiber guys hold the sign, death to all Jews. Huge story. Everybody's talking it. the internet versus the journalist, right? Uh, at the same time, I just came back from doing the H3H3 podcast. He was lovely to me in person. I get home to Buffalo, New York. He leaves a comment on the podcast saying that him and Gila hate me. Which is strange because he didn't say that in, purpose, uh, in person. So I'm having a little bit of a rant on the stream. And I say the ongoing meme that's going on at the time. Everybody spam H3H3 H3, death to all Jews. Now, I didn't get canceled. No one got offended. I didn't lose any of my Jewish fans or supporters. Because it's a meme. It's an ongoing fucking meme. But you would have to be an insider to know this. You would have to be an insider. You're not an insider. You're not, or you're being dishonest. And here's the, here's the thing. If you're being dishonest, this is a big problem, right? Because, you know, if you're going to cover news, if you're going to come out with articles, you need to be trusted. You need people to want to read your stuff and trust what you're doing. If you lose trust, then you lose viewers. You lose people reading your articles, all right? And then, you know, there's not enough people reading your articles. So then you lose sponsorships because you're not getting enough clicks. I mean, it's a huge fucking problem for you. Right. So, I mean, you can keep on doing this dishonest thing or maybe you're really just not intelligent enough to understand the Internet and understand Internet culture and what was going on at the time. Either or. But do better because you're not doing good. Series, there's a big difference, guys. Context matters. As a Jewish person, I'm not offended. Keemstar then tweets out, Insider is testing out the new Deaf Noodles meta. It's not working out so well. He then quote tweets a tweet he made back in December where he was thinking about converting to Judaism and says, How do I speed this up? They trying to label me as anti-Semitic. Gotta act fast. Kat Tenbarger then addresses all of this on her Twitter when she says, All I'll say is, it doesn't matter if death to all Jews is a meme from 2017. Intent is irrelevant. When it's said to a Jewish person, even as a joke, it's anti-Semitic rhetoric. Full stop. You can't just say hateful things and then defend them by saying they are memes. This is an especially absurd excuse when anti-Semitic hate crimes are on the rise globally, and Jewish people are genuinely fearing for their lives. Keemstar responds to her by saying, Let me just talk about this 2017 meme. Take it out of its time period, where it was 100% a meme. Put it in a different time, 2021, and attach things like 
hate crime. Cat, it won't work. But you are more than welcome to try and fail. Someone responds to Keem by saying, Insider will become the new Wall Street Journal. Keem Star responds, Yep. And I actually told him this directly. I warned them that they will lose all the trust with the community. Cat Tenbarge responds, I never called it a hate crime, but I think you are wrong about us losing all trust within the community. I'm listening and talking to people in commentary every day. I'm not just the Wall Street Journal parachuting in and calling things offensive for clicks. Lucy Dick responds, What commentators are you commonly talking to? Cat responds, Over the past few weeks I've had dialogue with several prominent people in the community, looking to find common ground and learn from the mistakes that have been made in the past. I'm also friends with some commentators. Someone then responds, That's just the same as saying, I'm not transphobic, I have trans friends. Or the old Angelica Oles one, I'm not racist, I have black friends. After being called out for microaggressions, just because you're friends with people doesn't mean shit, it's what you do yourself. Comment Cops Burner responds, Trans people are just a means to an end to some people, I guess, or a justification to say things. Cat Tentbarge responds, How is me saying I have friends in commentary equivalent to someone trying to defend transphobic remarks? I didn't say anything offensive towards the commentary community at large, lol. Keemstar then responds with this Twitter video. Okay. <laughs> Let's try to get this straight, okay? You put out tweets, and I'm paraphrasing because I don't remember exactly what was said, but you put out tweets basically saying that, um... You refuse to go on Keemstar show because of his anti-Semitic rhetoric, something along those lines, right? Then people brought up the point that H3H3 has said racist and homophobic and horrible things. And you basically said, well, I don't agree with those things. But you went on a show. <laughs> now you're saying that you have friends with the commentary community and you're talking about a YouTuber who isn't in the commentary community. She's in the T community. It's like so different, but whatever. You would only know that if you're an insider, but, um, <laughs> but anyhow, uh, you're like, well, how did me being friends with them, supporting what they say and both? I don't know, dude, you guys, cheat. you guys keep making these leaps of logic, right? You, you keep making these leaps of logic. Memes are now statements and they're super hurtful, even though they weren't hurtful at the time. Dude, I, I want to know, I want to know in 2017, all right? And I'm not gonna I'm not gonna dig into the research. You're gonna have to do it. I want to know in 2017 when I'm on stream and I'm saying everybody spam to H H G death old. When I say that, right, with that meme, that joke, and I, I'm literally laughing in the fucking clip because it's an ongoing meme going on. I want to know if anybody actually from my stream tweeted at H three H three and said that. I want to know if they actually said that, or because if no one did, then that's really damning. That's really damning. Uh, I have to find the time that I streamed, the date that I streamed, and we'd have to look at Twitter and see in that time frame of, let's say, an hour of when I said the statement, did any single person actually tweet at h3h3.alljuice? That's what we need to find out. If we could find that out, um, you know, it's either going to support your case or it's going to support mine. Let's find out. Cat Tenbarge responds, that's not what I said. I don't like the things you say now. I don't agree with many of the takes you have this year. That was one of the reasons I didn't go on. You said my friends are T-channels. I'm also friends with other people who are not T-channels. Keemstar responds, Okay, well whatever. We should definitely try to find out if someone actually tweet at H3, DTAJ, at the time of my stream. Cat responds, Okay, we'll factor in that Twitter tends to permaban people left and right for making those kind of tweets. But also, for the record, DTAJ wasn't widely accepted as a funny joke in 2017. I have Jewish people in my replies right now saying it wasn't funny in 2017 either. I'm innocent responds, What about Jews that did find it funny though? Keemstar responds, They don't fit the narrative, so they will be ignored. Technical quote tweets Kat's initial tweet and says, When someone says intent is irrelevant, that's when my brain checks out. I don't know if it was journalists who started it, but this trend of saying jokes aren't jokes and then removing all context to make a character judgment is really fucking lame. I say shit I don't mean all the time. That's definitely a thing that exists. Cat responds to him by saying, I still think the context is important, and I'm not making a character judgment. I said the intent of this phrase isn't important because it's still anti-Semitic, regardless if you are personally anti-Semitic. I will also say things I don't mean constantly. Technicals responds, The person it was said to made it blatantly clear in regards to PewDiePie that he knew it was a joke and because of that, he didn't believe he was either being anti-Semitic, nor was he. You coming in as a third party to retroactively attribute hate to someone else is disingenuous. You know for a fact that Keem didn't say it to be 
hateful. So the fact that you're even bringing it up four years later just seems like a cheap character attack. It's pretty well crafted for hate clicks, I guess. Cat responds, I didn't bring it up. I was responding to someone accusing me of being anti-Semitic because of my neutral relationship with Keem. And he made a video about it, so I responded. Technicals responds, oh my bad. Someone was lying about you, so you threw someone else under the bus? Sorry, I'm new to how journalists work. I didn't understand the full context. Cat responds, I didn't throw anyone under the bus. I said I don't agree with this language, and I don't think it being a meme justifies it. I never said Keem was a bad person, let alone an anti-Semite. Technicals responds, you of all people should know the impact of wording. When you say that intent doesn't matter, and say that someone is hiding behind a meme, when that was literally the context, you're basically saying he's a coy anti-Semite. If you're gonna say it, then at least have a backbone. Keemstar then makes a Twitter video titled, You don't understand my struggle. No one understands. No one will ever fucking understand my struggle. You don't fucking get it. All I want to be is pure evil. I want to be the bad guy so bad. I try everything I can possibly do to be the fucking bad guy. But I'm always in a fucking fight or a feud with pure evil. Which turns me into the fucking good guy. And my re reputation over the last couple years has been ruined. How many times have you motherfuckers been like, you know what? I kind of fucking like Keem. You know what? I agree with Keem here. Or, or yeah, Keem's the good guy. Or you fucking sign find yourself fucking agreeing with me, right? I don't want it. I want to be the fucking bad guy. But I keep going up against pure fucking evil. <sighs> Ricky Berwick responds by saying this. Hey, you can say something nice about me. Go ahead. Be the good guy. Keemstar then quote tweets Ricky Berwick to say this. You want me to say something nice about you? I don't think so. In fact, I'm going to call you the R word publicly on Twitter. Ricky. You're so fucking PC now. It's funny. You fucking retard. Ninja, please. Keep covering the Logan Paul and Jake Paul shit. Very PC. Listen here. Hunchback whale jumped out of the water. And dude, it was insane. It's on YouTube. I'll link it to you. You fucking... Gnomes is the goddamn best movie ever. You disabled likes on your last video? That's what someone told me. I haven't checked it out yet, though. You goddamn hairless rodents are pretty goddamn cute, dude. Like, look at that. Kind of looks like you. Ricky, you're talking kind of hard for a guy that uses the short bus. On Rocket League, the new DLC, like, I mean, not one of the best vehicles. Wow, Rocket League and Fortnite? You still play those games? You're such a fucking bitch. It's my fucking favorite story. Listen here, Snaggletooth is actually a character from the Star Wars series. Many people don't know that. Did you know the N-word stands for... No, I didn't know that. Ricky, this has been a fun conversation, but I'm gonna have to walk away. Walk. Away. Yeah, I can't walk, but at least I can still do this. Ricky... You can't make them all. You should get up regardless and give yourself a standing ovation. I can't stand up, but at least I'm still the same height as you. Wait, what was this video about again? Oh yeah, Keemstar makes one final video on Insider titled, Insider is in the mud. Hashtag drama alert. Oh my god, Insider is in the mud. They're in the mud, people! Last night, a couple of reporters over at Insider were just going on and on and on about Keemstar and his anti-Semitic rhetoric, right? What they're referring to is in 2017, I was on a stream, right? And I was referencing the, you know, PewDiePie situation. PewDiePie had the fiber guys hold the sinus of death to all Jews. It was a big story. The entire internet, including H3H3, H3, was defending PewDiePie, right? Because it was a joke. It wasn't serious. We got, you know, H3H3 H3 saying that this is a joke. It's a joke. Like, we literally have the fucking clip, right? But at the same time, I went to the H3H3 H3 podcast in LA, went on their show, lovely in person, awesome, uh, great time leave the show, come home to Buffalo, and he leaves a comment on the podcast when I went on the H3H3 H3 podcast. He leaves a comment on it saying that the, him and Gila hate Keemstar, okay? So I'm mad. This is some snake behavior. I'm on stream. I'm fucking ranting about it. And then after I'm done with my rant, I'm like laughing. I go, everybody spam that H3H3 H3 debt to all Jews. 
obviously a fucking joke, right? Clearly a meme in reference to the PewDiePie situation that is going on at the time, all right? Now they're saying that I'm hiding behind the meme and they're saying that, you know, I need to take accountability and blah, 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 blah. And, you know, they're saying, you, you know, you really hurt people's feelings and all this other shit. And, you know, the I sent millions of my fans to go do this. Okay, here's the thing. Just did the research, looked it up, searched for it. At the time of my fucking stream, not one single person not one single person tweeted at H3H3 and said it at the time of my stream. Nobody did it. Now, why is it that none of my followers, none of my fans actually tweeted at H3H3 saying death to all Jews? Why? How is that possible, right? Because it's a fucking meme. Because it's a fucking joke. Because it's not a real statement. It's not a real fucking call to action. It's not fucking real. Today, I have been proven to be 100% innocent. I win, you lose. Oh, and by the way, the reporter also tweeted out that intent doesn't matter. <laughs> what? And that's about it for this drama. Not super significant, but I thought it was pretty entertaining nonetheless. If you enjoyed this video, let me know by leaving a like. And if you want to see more videos like this, be sure to subscribe with notifications on. Thank you so much to my channel members for supporting the channel, in particular Scrubby who has donated $100 a month. But with all that being said, thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you in another video.